Okay, folks, today we are going to see can we draw rhizopus, the structure of rhizopus. The SEC really like to ask you to draw this. So we're just going to draw a line here. This is a piece of bread, the surface that your um, rhizopus has landed on. And we are going to draw what looks like roots down here. followed by structures that are going to go out to the side, followed by structures that are going to go up to the sky. So when you check in through your notes, you are going to see that we talk about things called hyphae. And there are three types of hyphae, apologies. There are three types of hyphae that we are interested in. We are interested in the ones that grow into the food, we're interested in the ones that grow sideways, and we're interested in the ones that grow above. Up here, we are going to put what are called sporangium, and they have this kind of shape to them. So they are going to be circular, they are going to have a little thing inside them, and this is going to be very hard to do with a tablet pen. Here are supposed to be little spores. So when you're drawing these, you're going to be drawing these as little circles, ideally in black, and we leave the bit in here, the columella free. So up here, I'm just going to draw a sporangium that has actually exploded. And these are now my little spores up here weighing their way onto the next piece of bread. Okay, we will do some labeling. So, we have said these are going to be hyphae. They are hyphae that go into the surface of your bread or fruit or whatever it is. And these are called rhizoid. So these are hyphae that grow down. We have the hyphae that grow across. And these guys are called stolons. So these are hyphae that go horizontally. So we're just going to give them this little arrow. And we have these guys, which are the hyphae that move, grow up. And these have got a really, really big name. So I'm going to type this one. These guys are called sporangio. So for some reason in my head, I think of golf when I think of these guys. Orangio 4 singular, so I apologize. Get delete. Okay, so Sporangio 4, it's like you hit your golf club, it goes up in the air, you shout 4, away you go. So this part up here is going to be what is called your Sporangium. So they reside on the top of Sporangio 4. And these are the guys that are going to be full of spores. Sporangium. Okay, and we have these little white pieces in here. Ooh, apologies. Okay, we have the little white piece in here that you can see. This is called a columella. And this is the food store for those spores that are in here. So these are going to be your spores. And the last, but by no means least, and it's very, very hard to show you, but in the notes I've put in pictures, you have a table of all the parts, and I've put in pictures. And it's this part down here, where your sporangio 4 meets your sporangium or your columella. It's got, I think it's a funky name, but you know me, uh, called an apophysis. So A-P-O-P-H-Y-S-I-S. And all it is, is it's just the area between the columella and the sporangia 4. Okay, and obviously in here we are, in here we are going to have spores. This is where they are going to reside. So they will be haploid spores. And they get released and land on something and this all starts again. 
So one just last little piece of information. So a hyphae is just like a tube. So this is a hyphae, this is a hyphae, 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 hyphae. When you get a mass of hyphae together, so a whole load of hyphae together, it has a very particular word, and that word is, it's called a mycelium. So loads and loads of tubes together, or a visible mass that you can actually see, is called a, a mycelium. And that is how you would draw a rhizopus structure for the SEC.